Hi, it's Pastor Dan with Grace City Church. It's time for our two-minute recap. Well, this past Sunday, we dealt with a really tough topic, and that is this, grief. The truth is 100% of us will deal with grief while here on this earth. We can't avoid it. And for some people, you may be grieving and not even know it. Hey, there's some losses that are obvious. I mean, you lose a loved one, you lose a family member or a friend, that's a great loss and you're gonna grieve and you know that you're grieving. Other losses in our lives, you may not even realize that you're grieving. It could be the loss of a job, it could be the loss of a dream or a goal or a relationship or a marriage. And what you will find out is that you are grieving over that loss. So how do we handle the grip of grief in our lives? Well, can I share with you with John chapter 11, uh, what it has to say and what happened? In John chapter 11, Jesus is one of Jesus's closest friends Lazarus had died his two sisters Martha and Mary sent word for Jesus to come and when Jesus arrived Lazarus had already passed away when Jesus showed up this is what happened he went through a wide range of emotions we know that Jesus wept but it also says in John chapter 11 that Jesus was angry so when you go through grief just be prepared you're going to go through a wide range of emotions as well you're going to have to go through some anger and sorrow and it's okay because even Jesus experienced both of those emotions as well the second thing you need to know is this is that Jesus wants to go to those deep dark stinky places in your life the places that really hurt the places that seem dead to you and we know that is because when Jesus arrived he said to Martha and Mary take me to where Lazarus is buried and Martha pleaded with him and said you don't want to go there Lazarus has been in the grave for four days and Jesus said, let's go so that God can be glorified. Jesus always wants to go to those places where maybe you don't want him to go to. They're deep, they're dark, and they smell really bad. But God always wants to breathe life into where you think you are dead. And that's exactly what he did with Lazarus. The third thing is this, is he called Lazarus out of the grave and he arose and came walking out. The third thing is this, it was a great family reunion. And if, if you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, if you have family members who've done the same thing or friends, guess what? There'll be a great family reunion one day because Jesus has brought life from death. And that's your two-minute recap.